or some peppers and some beetroot. And that, some of that beetroot is going to be ready to harvest before too long. It's done pretty good in a grow bag. These are growing in a 10 gallon grow bag. When I planted them I added some 10-10-10 granular fertilizer and after that I didn't fertilize at all. I used drip irrigation to water them. When you grow things in a grow bag, harvesting can be pretty easy. I just pulled up a chair and started to pull them. Normally I grow our beetroots in the ground, but this time I decided to try some in a grow bag because we kind of ran out of room. Even though they didn't grow quite as big as the ones I grow in the ground, I think they still did pretty well. I like to space out several plantings of beets just so we can have some pickle beets several times during the summer. This particular variety of beetroot is called Detroit Dark Red. It's my favorite beet to grow for a couple of reasons. First, it's just a good all-round beet. And second, the seeds are usually readily available locally at a decent price. Here's a look at what we ended up getting from that one 10 gallon grow bag. It's not a huge harvest, but it's enough for a small batch of pickled beets. To remove the tops from the beets, I use some of our pruners and that usually goes pretty quickly. Then it's just a matter of washing them up and taking them inside. We use a refrigerator pickle beet recipe to do our pickle beets. You just boil them, then put them in some cold water and once they've cooled down enough to be handled safely, the skin comes off very easily. After that you just slice them up, put them in some pickling solution and put them in the refrigerator. I've already done a video on how to make the pickled beets that we make and if you want to see that video and see more details about how to make it, I'll put a link to that video down below. They should be good for about three weeks in the refrigerator, but we usually eat ours long before that. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.